Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So today, we're gonna be finally doing another Dollarama haul. I know, it's been so long since I've done one, I've been missing it. I freaking love the Dollarama. I'm seriously a Dollarama addict, I really am. <laughs> so I finally have another haul for you guys. This one isn't gonna be like, ginormous but i did pick up some really great stuff so i want to share with you guys so in this haul i have some stuff from the dollarama trip that i just took and then i have a couple pieces from a trip that i took before but i thought i would just include those as well so without further ado let's get into the video okay so i want to start with these pieces first here because i seriously love these so these are just those plain white candles that have been super super trendy lately you guys i've seen these literally everywhere pinterest is basically filled with these and they can be so pricey at other stores so I can't remember the exact prices for these but I believe the bigger one was two dollars and I believe this one was a dollar fifty but yeah I just absolutely love these I have them up on my floating shelf like this and they are seriously gorgeous now I don't use these to burn as you guys can probably tell if you were to burn these obviously you would need like a burn plate underneath because you know, the wax is gonna melt, but I just like these for decor, honestly, I think they look great. If you were like me and you're looking for those super trendy white candles, they even have the smaller ones like this as well, hit up the dollar store because they have loads, and seriously, like the prices are amazing. Like I said, you would pay probably $10 for this at another store, when you can get it for a couple bucks at the Dollarama. So such a great deal. So happy I picked these up. Okay, so next I just got this guy right here. So this is the Caprina. Fresh Goat's Milk Foaming Milk Bath. And I am honestly just a sucker for any kind of bath product I love. And this is the one with orchid oil. And oh my goodness, you guys, this seriously smells so freaking good. It's insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's spilling everywhere, but oh, unreal. Like I wish you guys could smell this. I really do. It smells so freaking good. I could not help myself. I used this the night that I got it. Now I will say the bubbles that it gives off isn't like amazing, but it was only $3.50. So I mean, you really can't go wrong, but I just love this for the scent. It smells amazing. And especially when you're in the bath as well, that like the heat, it just makes it smell so much better. And this is supposed to be actually really good on the skin as well. I know sometimes my skin is kind of weird. Sometimes it's super sensitive, sometimes it's not. So I really do like picking up stuff that is supposed to, you know, make your skin feel really soft. So it says the goat's milk is known for its moisturizing properties. So I freaking love this, you guys. If you see it at your store, please go get it. They had this one and then they had the original. I didn't smell that one, so I don't know what what it smells like, but if it smells anything like this, then I'm definitely going back for that one as well. So speaking of bath products, I told you guys, I freaking love them. I picked up another bubble bath. Now I actually got this one in my previous trip. So this is the Natural Therapy Bubble Bath Hemp and Lavender. And this one again, smells amazing. Obviously though, if you're not a big fan of lavender, I know some people aren't, you won't like this one because it's definitely a very, very strong lavender scent. But I love that, it's so calming. Oh my goodness, like this is just the most calming scent to me. There's something about lavender, it just gives me like the best kind of vibe and it just puts me in a good mood. <laughs> that might sound totally strange, but honestly, for me, this is perfect for when, you know, I might be feeling a little bit stressed, pour some of this in the bathtub, get in, get my tea, and I just feel like a million bucks. This is a huge bottle. This is 33.8 fluid ounces. And this one is only, let me see here, 27 fluid ounces. So it is quite a bit bigger than this one. This one I do remember was $4 and this one, like I said, was $3.50, but I like both of these, honestly. Now this one, again, when it comes to the bubbles, not a whole lot, but honestly, I don't really care. Oh, you know what, you guys? I thought this was $4. It's actually only three. It says it right there on the back there. For some reason, I thought this was four bucks. So this one's actually cheaper than this one and you get more. So I would say this is the better deal right here. So I've actually used this probably like six times now and I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's all that's gone out of it. It definitely goes a long way. I think I'll definitely be repurchasing this whenever it's done. Okay, I think this is my last bath product. I'm not exactly sure, but this is another product that I got in a previous trip and this is the Dove Body Wash mousse and this is with the coconut oil so when i saw this i was like instantly drawn towards it because i've never in my life had a body wash that was a mousse and i thought that was the coolest thing ever um and honestly it is it's really really cool it almost is like the same kind of consistency as a shaving cream and it seriously leaves your body feeling so soft it smells 
Oh my god, it smells so good. I don't know what it is about Dove products, but they all smell amazing. Whatever you're doing, Dove, keep doing it because I'm obsessed. You can actually shave with this too, so that's pretty awesome. I didn't realize that. But this is honestly such a great product. I feel like the dollar store is amazing when it comes to bath products because, I mean, this is a name brand. It's Dove. You would probably be paying you know, three, four, maybe five bucks more at Walmart or, you know, shoppers or any store like that. So I love that the Dollarama has products like this. The worst part though is when your dollar store does end up getting products like this, they sell out so fast, you guys. Okay, we are definitely moving away from the bath products with this next item here. So I went ahead and I picked up this little birdhouse right here. How freaking cute is this, you guys? So I've been loving feeding the birds. We have a birdhouse in the front yard there on like a stand, but I wanted to get one that I could hang up in a tree as well, like maybe a back or you know on the other side of the yard so they had actually a bunch of different birdhouses but this one was definitely my favorite and it honestly just looked like the easiest one to use because some of the birdhouses there I was like how am I gonna use this like I didn't think a birdhouse could be complicated I don't know it looked like you had to have a degree in some kind of scientific field to understand it this was the most expensive one there so it was four dollars but I thought you know what how cute is this Four bucks, really not that bad for a good birdhouse like this. And I love the little wicker on the front there. How cute is that, you guys? But yeah, I can't wait to go hang this up in my yard somewhere. The only thing I'm thinking about, though, is like we get a lot of wind where I'm from. So hopefully this doesn't, you know, bang around and get broken. But fingers crossed it doesn't. This is definitely, I would say, probably my favorite purchase out, out of this entire haul. Okay, this next one might be a little bit boring for some, but I went ahead and I picked up these little measuring cups right here. And these are actually the Betty Crocker brand. No, 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 they're the Martha Stewart brand. I don't know what I was thinking there. Martha Stewart. So these were actually really, really expensive. The, the original price tag on them, I think was like $15. And I believe they were four. I think so anyways, but $15 original price, that's that's crazy. So to get them for way less is amazing. So you just have the one tablespoon, you have the one teaspoon, half teaspoon, and quarter. And honestly, you guys, I love the shape of these. I don't know if you can tell, but they are round, but they have a flat bottom on them, which I think is so neat. So I really like these. I'm always baking, so I pretty much always need multiple tablespoons and teaspoons and all that so love these okay another basic kind of boring item but i picked up a new deodorant right here so this is the secret ph balance baby powder 24 hour invisible you guys do i have a story for you so i was using the oh my goodness what, it might have actually been secret but it was the rose water scented deodorant so i had been using that one for a while and i've been noticing that my armpits were really really sensitive they were sore they were hurting but anyways i know tmi I, i'm not really sure why i'm sharing this on the internet but um moral of the story is i was allergic to that deodorant so <laughs> had to pick up a new one even though i love that deodorant and smelled amazing I was allergic so I picked up this guy right here so I'm not allergic to this one it's just the basic baby powder and it is the 24 hour invisible which is my favorite I can't stand when you get the deodorants and they leave the white marks I hate that so I always had to get the invisible so next I just went ahead and I picked up the Jameson melatonin so these are the fast dissolving extra strength five milligram chocolate mint that was a mouthful so I don't like religiously take melatonin I really only use them when my sleep schedule is like out of whack which it definitely is right now so these work great for that if you ever find like your sleep schedule is so messed up take one of these and it just totally gets you back on schedule I actually kept the receipt for once I know so you get 38 of these for four dollars which is kind of expected when it comes to name brands like this the dollar store they're usually four bucks okay so I know some of you that are watching have to be from the Dollarama Facebook group you gotta be I am I know lots of the people that do Dollarama hauls they are as well and these little gummies have been everywhere on the group and I'm like I gotta try them I have to. People say they are so, so good. These are the Sweet Shop 4D Cupcake Shaped Gummies. And they just look so good, you guys. I mean, also just look at this packaging. How cute is that? Now, it doesn't look like to me that you get very many in there. And it is $1.25 for the bag. I don't think it says anywhere actually how many you get in there. But it is 112 grams. Definitely not the biggest bag in the world. But I just thought, you know what? Let's give them a try. I honestly just like trying a new food item every time I go to the dollar store. So I was like, you know what? This time we're picking up some gummies. These are just going to be great for that like little movie night you have where you're having a little sweet tooth moment. These are going to be great. Crossing my fingers that they're actually good though. <laughs> so the next thing I picked up are just these little boy shorts right here. So these are by the brand Ella Lingerie. And I gotta say you guys, Dollarama is really stepping up their 
clothing item game. They have biker shorts there now. They have these really cute tank tops. Like I was really impressed when I went, but I just picked these up honestly to sleep in. Where it's getting warmer now, I don't like wearing a lot of clothes when I sleep. I just, I can't do it. So I love sleeping in these. So I got mine in size small, but I believe they went all the way up to extra large. And these were also $2.50. And they also did have these in a red color as well. So the material, it says right here on the tag, it's 95% cotton and 5% spandex. But I just think these are gonna be so comfy to sleep in. All right, so next I just went ahead and I picked up some makeup wipes. Now I usually use a reusable sponge to take off my makeup, but I like having these on hand for days when I'm, you know, maybe a little bit lazy. So I picked up these and these are by the brand spa scriptions so these are the moisturizing makeup cleansing wipes and they're made with shea butter and coconut oil and that is what the package looks like right there you do get 60 wipes in here and these were four bucks has anybody else noticed that the makeup wipes at the dollar store have been like kind of pricey lately maybe that's just me but i feel like every makeup wipe that i saw was four dollars i didn't see any that were less so I don't know, a little bit pricey. I really hope they're good because you know when you get a makeup wipe and it's just really harsh on the skin, it kind of tugs and it's like kind of rough. I hate that. So I'm really hoping that these are good. And I mean, they gotta smell good. Shea butter and coconut oil, that's a great mix for me. So I am really excited to try these out and see what they're like. So the last thing I picked up is this little nail polish right here. So this is the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails and it's in the shade Set in Stone. So that's what the color looks like, you guys. How pretty is that? It's funny because right now my nails are like obviously super hot pink, but normally I like to stick to my neutrals. And I gotta say, I really do like the Sally Hansen brand. So this was only two bucks, you guys. I think that's a pretty good deal. Obviously Sally Hansen is a great brand. And I know for a fact, you guys, that Shoppers and Walmart sells these for way more than that. All right, so that was everything in my Dollarama haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna see more Dollar Store hauls, give this video a like, comment down below. Let me know in the comments below Below what your favorite section in Dollarama is. Is it kitchen? Is it the beauty section? Crafting? Let me know below. I gotta say mine is probably, I would say probably like, like the beauty slash bath section is probably my favorite. But anyways, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because I would really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm always posting on there. So if you want to keep up with me, definitely check those out. They'll be in the description bar below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.